today I'm going to do a video that I had a request from one of my viewers and what he was asking was could I do a split screen from two sources separated by a diagonal line and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different ways to do this and yes it can be done very easily and very quickly so first of all I'm going to show you two clips that I have and these were clips that Lucky and I took while we were doing trail magic along the Appalachian Trail last year the first clip shows a gentleman just eating a bag of chips and he's mostly to the left and upper left side of the screen. The second clip I have shows a bunch of hikers relaxing and eating a few chips and a few things and it's more to the right and lower side. So I'm going to do a diagonal across this and do incorporate the two. First, Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second clip and go ahead and slide it underneath the first one so that they're on top of each other. I'll set my timeline back to the beginning and we'll do the quick and simple one first. So going down to the color tab, I'm going to select that and then sliding up into the nodes area, I'm going to press Alt S on the keyboard. I can create this second node. That way any changes that I do will be made in the second node and the first node will be left untouched. So what I'm going to do is use power windows and by selecting this icon it gives me the Windows menu and I'm going to go down here to the polygon shape and click on it. Now what I'm going to do is go down to the bottom left corner, do a single click, and then drag this line to cut the corner to the upper right corner. I'll click and go ahead and box it in. And now you can see in the node up here, you can see where it's um, it's transparent. Well, what I want to do is right click in the node area and go down and create an alpha output. And by doing so, it gives me the out, alpha output. And then I'm connected the two blue lines together. And now you can see that it's transparent and you can see the other video behind it. Now, in this situation, they're almost reversed. I need to switch them back around. Well, instead of taking this polygon shape out and redoing it from the top, I can just slide down to this icon and select it and it automatically reverses it for me quick and easy now I'll go back to the edit tab and I'll play the video and there you go you've got two separate videos coming possibly from two separate sources and you can very well see how they play well together it has a very good diagonal line separating the two and I've got it on repeat that way it just keeps playing it over and over and as it plays over and over it will smooth it out. So what I'm going to do now is show you a second method and that way I can show you also how to put a separator bar between the two clips. What I'm going to do now is go back to the color tab. I'm going to go and delete the node and just kind of reset it back to normal. That way it's back the way it was. Go back to the edit tab and you can see that it's back the way it originally had it set up. This time I'm going to do my fusion tab clicking on my fusion tab now I'm going to show you how I can do this a little bit different way now that I'm in the fusion tab I want to go ahead and create a polygon shape in order to create that diagonal line so I'm going to click click on the polygon shape and drag it down and then these two buttons down here on the polygon node the left one is for the left monitor view and if I clicked on the right one it would bring it up in the right monitor view so leaving it on the left one, I'm going to go in here and clicking this icon is I can go to just a single screen and bring it up to a larger view. Bring it down and holding my control button down and using my mouse button, I can zoom out from it. And what that does, it gives me more areas so that I can view where I want to draw my shape. Here again with the polygon shape node selected, I'm going up to my monitor and I'm going to put one click right in that corner and then come up to the upper right click another one and then it starts draw, drawing that diagonal line for me then I'm just going to close the shape out what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and collect my polygon shape to my media in and then go back up to my screen and create the double screen and now you can see by me doing that, you can see where the video has been cut in half by the diagonal and you can see a viewing. 
Here again, just like I did with the color tab, I need this reversed. So going over to the inspector, I can go over to this invert tab and just put a check mark in that box and that inverted it for me so that I have the correct video on the top. Go back over to my edit tab and now you can see I've got the videos back the way that I want them and I've got the good diagonal going through the two. If I hit the play button, same action, you can see the two videos. I'm going to go ahead and stop that, bring my time head back over to the start, go back to my fusion tab. And what I want to do now is draw that diagonal line between the two that I had mentioned earlier. What I want to do now is using the control key on my keyboard as well as the wheel on my mouse, I'm going to zoom out so that I can see all the corners along this line. I'm going to go back up to the icon and go back to single monitor so I can see it a little bit better and zoom in just a little bit more. Here again, holding the control key down and the wheel on my mouse so I can see the corners of this a little bit better. That way I can get a better zoom value when I get ready to place that shape in there. What I'm going to do now is grab the rectangle mode or rectangle node and drag it down. I'm just going to put it right here so that I can see it for right now. And now you can see the shape of it. What I'm going to do is just grab the corners of it and narrow it down and rotate it by clicking on this dotted line and it will rotate it for me. I'm just going to rotate it until it looks like it's splitting that line almost perfectly in half. Then I'm going to grab the corners here and just drag it all the way to the end so it goes all the way through both corners. And that way I know I've got a good solid line between the two. I'm now going to scroll this back up to give me a little bit more room so I can see my nose down here at the bottom. Go back up to the top and go back into dual monitor mode so I can see both monitors. Hold my control key down and zoom back out on this one and now what I'm going to do is create a background and drag it over and put and connect the rectangle to the background and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to give the background a color or I want to give that rectangle a color and in my case I'm going to do it in a silver color and you can click on the box here and select a color just slide down here and go to a tone of what you like I think that will do just fine now what I need to do is create a, no, a merge node in order to connect these together. This right now is separate from the actual video. So I'm actually going to bring in a merge node, drag it down, connect media one to the merge and the merge to media out. And then I'm going to connect the background to the merge node. And now you can see in the top right hand monitor, you have that silver bar that I just created. I'll go back over to the edit screen and there you go you have a nice bar separating the two videos and if you play it it looks just fine I'll go ahead and stop it at this point now what I want to do is kind of dress this bar up a little bit I'll go back to the fusion tab it's a little wide for my purposes so I'm going to hold my control key down and zoom in again by using the wheel of my mouse and selecting the rectangle I'm going to just narrow it down just a hair and then I'm also going to feather out the edges and by doing that I just come over to where it says soft edge and I use this slider and just slide it over a little bit and you can tell it softens up the edges of that gray bar now when I go back over to my video on the edit tab you can see I've got that gray bar but now it's kind of feathered out and it blends in much better and I hit the play button and there you go, you've got your two videos running simultaneously. You've got a nice separation between the two. You can very easily change the color of that. Just go back to your Fusion tab, go to your background node, and let's say you want to use brown. I'll just click on the gray here, move up to the brown, get a little bit darker shade, say OK. And now you've got a brown bar separating the two. This is more color choice and, and how you feel about what color best fits your needs. I hope that showed what you were looking for and very easily have two separate methods on using a split screen using a diagonal splitter. You could also do that uh, with a vertical line as well and just split it from left and right screens with the same concept. You can use one video source and may have two clips of that or you could have two complete separate sources and be, have the same effect.
If you liked what I did, I greatly appreciate you doing a like, comment, and subscribe below. And thank you for watching.